Hello everyone! My name is Melissa from Hopeful Happenings and we're going to talk about where to find agents. Before we get started, if you are not subscribed, make sure you push that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much and on to the video. So just to start off, literary agents are important because a lot of major publishing companies will not accept your manuscript without an agent to accompany it. So basically, if you want to publish the traditional way, then you need an agent. My first choice for finding an agent has always been books because I was really nervous about finding false websites that would lead me to someone that would scam me. So I went straight to my library and the best two books that I have found is this one, Writer's Market, they produce one every single year, this is the 2016, and inside this book it will give a short description about query letters, pitches, proposals, and certain things about writing, and then the rest of it is just references to, it's like a phone book basically for literary agents, publishing companies, and consumer magazines, and also it does in the back have a large section for contests and awards. So if you ever want to send in like a poem or a short story to a contest, then this gives you a bunch of different places that you can do that. A lot of them have cash prizes as well. I just love this book because it shows me exactly what I'm looking for. It gives me the agent's name, their address, phone number, email, website, what they represent, what they consider in fiction or nonfiction, and they also give you the information on how to contact them. This is definitely something you would want to verify with their website just to make sure that it's up to date, but it does tell you exactly what to do. Also, if you are new to writing, you may not know how much an agent will make. To be clear, agents do not get paid by you. They make commission off of your sales. So if you ever are encountering an agent who asks for a payment up front, then that's an agent you want to leave at the door. An awesome thing about this book is that it does tell you what each agency asks for. So the terms for this agency that I just pulled up is the agent receives 15% commission on domestic sales and 20% commission on foreign sales. Basically, that's what almost every agency that I've seen asks for. 15% domestic, 20% foreign, sometimes 10% domestic. But it's, it's a percentage of what you make, you should not be paying them. Another great book is the Writers and Artists Yearbook. The second place that you can find an agent is online. There are many, many different places online, so you have to be careful that you're not getting scammed. My favorite three websites are writerservices.com, Publishers Marketplace and Query Tracker. Query Tracker is especially cool because you get to implement which queries you're sending out to what agencies and then it gives you back statistics on how you're doing in regards to how successful your queries are. The third place that you can go to find a reputable agent is a writer's conference. Writer's conferences are places where editors, agents, and writers can gather together normally annually at different locations around the country or across the world and you just talk about writing you learn from each other there's often a pitch meeting where you can put your name at a slot of time and pitch to an agent face to face so it's really really cool place a lot of authors do find agents this way or they make personal connections with agents that will help them in the future. Unfortunately, they are very expensive, at least I think they're pretty expensive. Um, so I've never actually been to one, but I would love to go to one, and if you can go to one, do it. I was just looking up the prices the other day, and it was like $250 for a person like me who has no personal connection there and who is not a annual member. However, a student was only $50, so if you are a student, you should take advantage of writers' conferences now because it will be way more expensive later on. 
Also, it's always good to make connections, so find the agents that you're looking for on social media, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure that you know who they are, what they like, what they don't like, and see if they're a good fit for you, because if they are, then they're definitely someone you want to contact and query in the future. So there you have it guys, that's three legit places to find literary agents for your book. I hope it works out for you guys. Let me know your experiences. Did I miss anything? Comment below and I'll see you next week.